What's up? How we doing? How's everybody hanging? How's everybody doing? Um, okay, so content warning before we get into it. Uh, but we're gonna, I think this episode is gonna be pretty short, probably. Because if you remember the other day, uh, I that really epic escape scene was playing out, and I lost. I mistakenly lost and ruined the moment. Um, but today we're going to go back and fix that. We're gonna pretend that that didn't happen. We're gonna. Ugh. Oh, what's? What's gonna happen when I visit the tent with Zade? Quickly, we gotta free the princess before Kuthan shows up. Ah, remember all this? And then she's really mean to Talon, because she's an awful, an awful character. Horribly written. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Yep, yep, yep. And then she makes fun of all of us. Alright, so we've got Lydia. Now we've all got to get to safety. And what happened last time is I didn't realize until after I had left that there was a talk with Kimar again. You have what you came for, now go. And leave the villagers alone. If you lay so much as a finger on them, you will wake a wrath in me you won't soon forget. Yeah, I wanted to do this again just because I, like I feel like I ruined the moment last time. And uh, we all know that I hate ruining the moment. So, I'm you know, I wanted to do it again because this moment deserves to be fully seen and I just I don't know it feels cool so core let's get out of here Yuri fly out Lilia is gonna climb down the ladder Aethel's gonna climb down the ladder I think that is all the chalks um yes Dune can vault off Caesar can vault off Merida Troy Poland and probably Prody and Bonichelle will have to go around. Um, yeah, we're gonna do do this whole chunk of the map again, though, and then, uh, and then probably for this episode, all I'm gonna do is like do the dialogue in between the maps and get us into the next map, and I'll probably like talk over me like gearing up for the next map and stuff and then after that it, uh, that'll just be the end of the episode so today will be pretty short um, yeah oh he's Kuthan's younger brother interesting and captain of the Eagle Riders I like Keymark and then I guess Enoth and Rakar are just both uh, guards. Is like retainers or something, possibly. I don't think we have any like stat items to use. Yeah, I might. Uh... Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and use the Syrian Thalmite on Dandelion. We do not want that breaking. Dandelion is good for the whole game. Trusty Lance. I didn't know that. Increases defense group. Interesting. I love that, like, all these people are, you know, having to climb down the ladder. And then, like, Caesar and Ash and Dune get over here and they just jump off. Because they can land like that because they're cool as shit. I think also like it it won't be close at all this time since I was actually like prepped to escape unlike last time shouldn't be close at all maybe I, I don't know I want to tell them you're pretty slow run going to tell Prody holding the rear Kilton riding up. Alright, let's go ahead and get everybody down here. Zade will go come last down the ladder, of course. 
Ash, just in case we need you to help defend. Caesar, Caesar's just getting out of here. Ah, work me to the bone, why don't you? They're still not here. Okay, here they are. We've already read this too. So. save just to be safe all right a court's down the ladder Ethel's climbing down say it'll be last come on Brody come on Bonichel oh shit they are coming <laughs> I should be fine should be should be I should be fine I'll be fine Brody and Bonichel yeah they'll fry They'll make it in like three more turns and they... Okay, well, I should... I'll be fine. Oh, good. That's perfect. Alright. Uh... Yeah, we're fine. Go! Get out! I love maps that do this shit. Run! What is Kuthan's description? Chieftain of the Shifts, he rules his clan's people with brutality and terror. He's got a poison bow. With just one arrow. Interesting. Wind Spear? A magical weapon capable of conjuring the winds. I don't want to fight these guys. A lethal bow? Okay, I very much want to leave. What? Damn, these guys have skills and shit too? What's that? Alright. Interesting. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be real close. Can we all make it out? Oh shit. Should I do what I did last time and give Ash a few levels? Six. Let's see. Six, seven. Yeah, he'll be fine. Take him down, Ash. I'm really dumb. You don't mess with Ash, dude. Oh, shoot, put up his shield and then... I love that little flip he does. Not a good level, but whatever. Ash holding down the line. I think I could have just gotten out of their range, but it's more fun to do this. Now those guys are terrifying. What if I kill all of them on this map? Never mind, I'd like to go. Ah, it's about time those Spherian Spellhounds show their ugly visages. What do they think I'm paying them for? I've already read all that too. All right. Yeah, we're just gonna go, because that's scary. Oh, yeah. That's scary. Alright, let's go. Let's leave. Wait, what about Lilia? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, because last time she escaped first, so that's interesting. Careful, everyone. I should be at the Star Maiden's side protecting her. 
safe for now. What is it they say in 36 Fathoms being the best? I'll stay close and hold our rear. Keep moving, is everyone alright? Uncle's going to give me an earful for this. If only I had a tactician the likes of Garland. Andrew said I might find my father in Solus. Where is he? How do I tell him how I feel? We've reached the perimeter. Make haste! Troy, you're the last one out. I'll clear the way ahead. You're in the back, dude. All right. Southern Solus, Aragoth Palace. Prince Gilton, I commend you for your bravery. My daughter and all my subjects owe you a debt. I've sent a courser to the Noyan with the good news. As promised, Aragoth shall support your claim to the Cilician throne, and we've declared war on the shifts. When you are ready to march on Tamthir at the Citadel, we will ride north to hold Kuthan's army in check. Thank you, sire. Next is the moment of your betrothal to my daughter. The Noyan has requested Lydia accompany you to Malaya. To this I consent. We can decide the fate of the wedding later, the date of the wedding later, until which time Lydia shall be your ward. Ward? You mean hostage? Father, that's not fair. Lydia, these are war times. Concessions must be made. House Solim is a noble line and soon to be the steps leading power. As Skilton's queen, you can unite our clans and bring stability and prosperity to all of the steppe. Remember your duty as the royal princess. No, I'm not marrying anyone. I refuse. Lydia, enough! You're shaming yourself in front of our honored guests. The matter is settled. Prince Gilton, my daughter is willful, but please do not get the wrong impression of her. She has a good heart. Well, enough of this dourness. My servants have prepared a banquet in the hall. Tonight we celebrate the tr troth plight of Kilton and Lydia, future car and queen of all Solus, and we drink to peace and to our friendship. May the gods favor us to remember it all on the morrow. <laughs> Lords Adrian, Sir Garlin, and Lady Holin, was it? Won't she join us on this happy occasion? Yes, of course. Certainly, sire. Hold, lad. I wish we speak. Huh? Uh, you and me, sire? I saw you standing at the fringes of court. That bracelet about your wrist. Where did you come by it? If you're implying that I stole it, you're wrong. This belonged to my mother. Your... your mother, you say? Is she well? Where is she now? My mother's dead. This is all I have of her. Dead? <sighs> then it's true. What is it, sire? Did you know her? What was she like? Let me tell you about that bracelet. It was a gift for my wife. After we were blessed with our first child. After we were blessed with our first child. What? Your name is Dune, is it not? You are my son. Son? No, that's that's ridiculous. I can't be. I, I'm just a hunter. Let me tell you a story, Dune. Eighteen years ago, the Aragoth clan decided that we'd had enough of the Kar's tyranny, declared independence from Solus. Naturally, the Kar wouldn't hear of it. He brought the full might of his armies down upon us, and for three full years the steppe bled. Most of my kinsmen were slain, our villages raised. The late Kar was a cruel man, and had no ruth for the women or children. We knew that if the last village were taken, they'd be killed or at best enslaved. So we bade our women and children and elders take flight to other lands. I placed a guard with your mother and her retinue and ordered them to take her south to Venetia. She was loath to go to break up our family. You'd just been born. But I finally convinced her that your only hope was beyond the crawls. Once our families were away, the Aragoths banded together in a final stand. We fought like berserkers. And a year later, we won our freedom. I set off in search of you and your mother. All I found was a single god. A deserter who said that the Krals had claimed most of our people. He told me that my wife and son had met their cold end. Er, he told me that me... He told me 
My wife and son had met their end, cold, tired, and hungry. I refused to believe it, but our new kingdom needed a queen. I took one of my consorts to wife, Lydia's mother. She passed away last year, leaving just the two of us. Now that Lydia has been betrothed to the Prince of Solus, Aragoth is without an heir. Is it not a sign from the gods themselves that you should return to father and homeland on the very same day? Dune. Yes. Live here with me. My heart will ache for company once Lydia is gone. I'm... Sorry, but... This is a lot to take in. I, I don't know what you expect me to say. I need some time to think. Right now the answer is no. Why? Do you hate me? No, I'm on the contrary, actually. You've dispelled any ill feelings that I had, but there's something I must do. Something I can't walk away from. You mean the Knights of Redessa? What is Lord Zadrian to you? Nothing. I, I don't owe him a thing. But someone I care about has been abducted by his enemies, which makes them my enemies. And until she is free, I fight with him. I see. Forgive me. I should have considered your feelings more. Go then. Finish your fight. But I have something for you. During my youth, this sacred bow never left my side. And now it's yours. May it protect you and aid you in your task. Remember that you always have a home here. And a father. I will. Thank you. Your Grace. The Bow of Aragoth. So yeah, if, if you actually uh, are paying attention to the story and everything, then you'll remember that Dune cares a whole lot about... I'll give you a hint. She's one of the Sestras. Remember her name? Remember her name from a while back? The Sestra Elysia. <laughs> Sestra Elysia is the one that Dune wants to keep fighting for until she is uh, rescued. Alright. The next day, en route to Malaya. Why so quiet, Holen? Are you angry that you've been ousted? Ha! <laughs> angry it didn't happen sooner. But this still isn't right. <laughs> what isn't? Now Lydia has to go through everything that I did. She's trapped. Just one more pawn in this stupid game that you clansmen seem to think is winnable. These are war times. The heads of each clan have to make difficult decisions to preserve their kinsmen's survival. And political marriages aren't a Cilician invention. Oh, stop. Just stop. This is nothing you or any man could ever understand. Hold it. Alright, let's get some more Talon and Lydia content. Really not a fan of them. I like Talon. I, yeah, I, I actually do like Talon, but Lydia is just... You'll see. Trust me. This If these conversations don't make it really obvious why I don't like her, and why I don't like this game's presentation of her, then... Alright. Don't cry, your highness. Or your radiance. Shut up. Get away from me. Talon? Yes? You told me once that you'd die for me. Of course. Anything that you command. Then I command you to help me escape, or to take flight from here as soon as the others are asleep. Once we're in Malaya, it will be too late. You want to run away, but if we're caught, we'll be punished severe. Did I command you to babble like a fishwife? Start planning! We'll be making camp soon, and that will be our one and only chance. Yes, your radiance. Halt! Where do you think you're going? Intruders, get them! <laughs> we brought the princess, Master Garland. Princess Lydia, what's the meaning of this? Your father will be most vexed to hear of it. I... I just... It was me, Master Garland. I wanted us to go on one of our rides. When the princess refused, I grabbed her by the arm and tried to drag her to the horses. 
You're saying that this was all your idea? Yes. The princess begged me to let her return, but I wouldn't let her. Princess Lydia, is this true? Oh, um... I'll have an answer at once, or else you give me no choice but to report this to your father. Y yes, it's true. This slave tried to, abduct, tried to abduct me. The punishment is clear, then. Fifty lashes. Fifty lashes? Correct. And they won't be the playful flicks of the whip you are so fond of. A proper lashing, through, a proper lashing tears through flesh and shatters bone. But of course, this criminal deserves no less. Don't worry, Your Radiance. I'll be fine. I, I've told you all I know. You there, take this boy outside and give him 50 lashes. Right away, my lord. Blah. See? It's bad. Princess Lydia, you look pale. You may retire to your quarters while we administer the boy's punishment. Princess! Someone fetch a Sestra. Princess Lydia has fainted. Yeah, it's just, it's really, really heavy content, like really, really heavy shit that, you know, definitely with characters like Garland, who up until this point has been pretty, you know, up until this point he's been a pretty cool guy, um, it's really heavy shit that changes your view of a lot of characters like him, and I don't know, I feel like with Lydia it's just it's not treated right like she she continues to not be um a good person at all and like the game just treats it like i don't know it treats her relationship with talon very like haha -ha, like i can tell you what to do and stuff i just i really don't like it all right malaya village kish calls great here Lord Zadrian, Master Garland, fine work. King Nakara sent a letter by Corsair expressing his gratitude and declaring for Kilton. It was your efforts that secured this alliance. I thank you. You overpraise us, Noyan. And Kilton, I noticed he returned in a melancholy. Did he commit some grievous error? He fought courageously, Noyan. I suspect the melancholy has more to do with his betrothal to Princess Lydia. You think he finds her unsatisfactory? I think he doesn't know what to think. There's the matter of Holan. For example. Whatever. The two have lived together for ten years and at each other's throats nearly every moment. Their rancor is half the reason I arranged for another bride. You believe that was a mistake? It is not for me to say. However... What? Out with it. All three of them are so young. Something as lasting as marriage deserves more consideration rushing to a decision. Uh, <clears throat> lasting as, as marriage deserves more consideration. Rushing to a decision may do more harm than good. But Kilton's marriage to Lydia is a condition for our alliance. It must be upheld. My star, I know it's not my place to speak, but Master Garland is offering sound counsel. At the children's ages, they don't yet know what to feel for whom. I'm sure it changes with the sun. We need to respect Princess Lydia's feelings. That is the best way to honor our new kinship with the Aragoths. Pray, give it some thought. Hmm. Very well, that I will. Oh, Princess Lydia, um, where are you off to? Wherever I please, is it any business of yours? Keep wandering off like this and you're just asking to be abducted again, is that what you want? Arguably the whole reason you're stuck marrying Kilton is because you and your manservant saw fit to roam halfway across the steppe. Sh shut up, I'm well aware, it's not my fault Talon didn't know any better. Just because you're of no consequence anymore and have nothing to do doesn't give you license to poke your nose into other people's affairs. Ugh, all she does is shout. It's loathsome. And yet everyone treats her like a princess. They never did that for me. I'm the daughter of a clan leader too, you know. Holan, are you alright? Fine, I'm going out to take in the air. You there. Where's my slave? The boy who was taken out and whipped. He's been feverish ever since the lashing, has yet to wake up from what I hear, and it serves the var varlet. 
I don't know what that word means. Right, for trying to abduct you. If we're lucky, he'll die before morning. Why Princess Aethel is trying to save him is beyond me. Yes, it would be, you peon, but that's not what I asked you. Uh, for forgive me, your highness. He's in the barracks. The hut to the right of that big tree over there. Talon, are you here? Oh, you must be Princess Lydia. Talon's sleeping. He should wake very soon. And who are you? My name is Atolphus. You can call me Aethel. It's a pleasure to meet you. Ah, uh, yes. The princess without a kingdom. Lord Zadrian told me about you. About Talon. His fever is down. You've nothing to worry about. Worry? He's my slave. The only thing I'm worried about is if I have to replace him. Uh, you. Leave. I'll take over from here. Alright, I'll come back later to see how he's doing. Don't. I'll look after him for the rest of the night. He belongs to me. Alright, I, I know he's in good hands. How dare she laugh. That... <sighs> Talon? Your, your radiance, what are you doing here? I'm sorry I had no right to sleep when you had need of me. Well, I was bored, so I thought I'd come see what they did to you. Does it hurt? I'm all right. Master Garland must have told his men to go easy on me. Otherwise, it'd have been far worse. Really? Well, I just wanted to say that... that I'm... Princess Aethel told me that Prince Kilton is a wonderful young man. He's very handsome, and he's going to be Carr one day. You couldn't ask for a better match. Just think of how happy King Nakara will be once you've joined in marriage. I hope you can find it in you to love him. What? Quiet, you Claude. I never asked for your counsel. I treat you with... I treat you with one shred of compassion that goes straight to your head. I'm sorry, Radiance. I spoke out of turn. I know my place. I swear I do. Good, because I... Because only I get to choose who I fall in love with, and I'm in complete control of that. You understand? See, and they're trying to do like this weird, like, oh, she has feelings for thing. No, no, I really hate her character. Like, ugh. Even if that was a, even if that was a real phenomenon that happened, that doesn't make her a better person, you know. And I would be okay with the game portraying her having feelings for him. That would be fine as long as the game like also pointed out the fact that she still sucks like that she's still an awful awful person but instead the game is like no like you can kind of feel for it and it's like no no you can't that's my take i really do not like lydia at all she's my least favorite character in the game by a long shot um out of all the saga games there's four of them by the way out of all of them, she's the only one that I can think of off the top of my head that I really just can't stand. Like, she's just horribly written. Um, because that is not a good message to put out there. Shozukaga. I don't know if that was your intention in the writing to, uh, make her a sympathetic character. Or if that was dang inter entertainment, uh, kind of corrupting the writing or not. But either way, she is... Ah, she's very poorly written. Ah! Irvin, what voice should I give him? Oh there! Olin! Remember me? Who are you? It's me, Irvin. Son of the Galleon Chief. We're cousins. Come on, we used to play together all the time when we were little. Irvin. Oh, wait, I do remember. You're the one who was good at climbing trees and... My aunt married into your clan. How in blazes did you recognize me? It, it's been, what, ten years? I've changed so much. You're taller. <laughs> Otherwise, just the way I remember you. Gods, I'd forgotten all about you until just now. I'm sorry, I, I know it's terrible. No, no. It's been a long time. I can't imagine all you've been through since House Salim took you as their ward. So what brings you to Malaya? A trouble at home? There will be. 
What do you mean? Holin, how much do you know about the state of the affairs in the Nyman League? I know that Gansuk mur murdered my father and seized power, and then he joined Tamthir's rebellion. Correct. Gansuk's the one who murdered the car. He's a disgrace to all Bagatours. It roils me that a man that foul calls himself Master of the League. As it should, but your father's still one of the chiefs, isn't he? Why doesn't he rally his warriors and kill the bastard, or at least drive him out? I've all but begged him to. My father insists we've no chance against Gansuk unless we win the allegiance of more clans. A single banner is not enough. Plenty of the chiefs dislike Gansuk, but channeling that into open rebellion is beyond father's power. We need someone more influential. Someone like... you. Me? Yes. You're the daughter of our last true League Master. Father thinks a call to arms from you would unite the chiefs. He'll look at you and see your mother, a valiant warrior who died bravely in battle. All the more so if you're as, if you're as much like her as I think you are. What say you? If you've a mind to avenge your father and reclaim the League, then my lance is yours. It will take some diplomacy, but this is a chance to strike down a monster and put the Nymans back on a righteous path. You were meant for this. I believe it with all my heart. That's why I came here. I hate to abandon Uncle after all he's done to keep me safe. This isn't my place anymore. Then you'll join me. Yes, I, I believe I will. I can't wait to see Kilton's face after I become Chief of the Nymans, oust Tamthia from the Citadel, and with it, win his stupid crate back for him. Let's see what he thinks of me then. <laughs> uh. So this is one of my favorite portions of the game. Holan? Aethel, you started me. Don't sneak up on me like that. Why are you all saddled up in the middle of the night? Are you going somewhere? Just for a ride. I couldn't sleep. A ride north to Nyman Lands, by any chance? How did you know that? I heard you talking to that man. You were eavesdropping? I thought southern princesses had better manners than that. Forgive me, but you were acting strange before, so I came to see how you were doing. Well, if you know where I'm going, then you know why, too. Yes, but you mustn't. It's too weighty a task to confront alone. And it's cruel to leave without so much as a word to the Noyan or Prince Kilton. They'd just forbid me from going. And anyway, this is a Nyman problem. None of their damn business. I have to do this, even if it means going alone. And even if it kills me. I know you understand, Aethel, because you're my friend. Holand, please. You're not going to change my mind. There's no place for me here. I'm of no use to anyone. Nobody would even miss me. I told you the day that we'd met that I'd plan to strike out on my own. Well, it's time. <laughs> oh, don't look at me like that. Don't you know how much this means to me? I've been miserable for years. Now I finally get to do something that has meaning. To risk my life for something. I know. I can see the resolve in your eyes and that's why I'm going with you. What? No, 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 no! No, you're the Princess of Maleda. I cannot drag you into this. What am I supposed to say to Lord Zadrian if anything happens to you? You can say that the Princess of Maleda stands by her friends. As I recall, you asked for my help when the time comes. Here we are. Help me up behind you. We need to go before they notice us. Who are you and what have you done to Aethel? <laughs> Alright. There, now hold on. I ride fast. Huh? What? Just... Thank you, Aethel. It's so fucking cool. Chapter 10, The Scions Proving. We're here, Holan. You remember the, the lay of the land? Northeast of us is the Nyman Great Yurt, where you used to live with your family. That is a castle. Now it's League Master Gansuk's stronghold. He and the Nyman Riders make up half of the League's total forces. The other half of our Riders are divided amongst the other clans. The Ulavs, to the far southwest. 
the Finns up in the northwest. Ulavs, Finns, the Auras to the southeast. Auras. And my clan, the Galleons, nestled there on the lake. My father will be so eager to see you. I'll leave it to you which clan we visit first. But we should try to win all four of the lesser clans to our cause before challenging Gonsuk. It will not be an easy battle. I agree. And whatever the other clan's feelings are for Gonsuk, they won't welcome a change of power if they haven't been consulted first. Aethel, stay behind me. I will, Holin. We should all stay close together if it comes to battle. That goes for you too, Irvin. If you're near me, I can heal your wounds. Right. Well, dawn is coming. Get ready for a long day. So yeah, this chapter is really fucking cool. Um, it is... How much time we... How much time we spent in this episode? That was 35 minutes of reading. Holy shit. Alright, but this chapter... Okay, they can talk to each other. Poland occupies the Nyman's Great here. So yeah, this chapter is very interesting how it plays out. Who are these guys? Kukuma? Gansuk's unprincipled son. He and his lackeys have been terrorizing Finn village. The Finns are these ones, right? Oh, he's got a lethal bow. Scary. And then he's got a bunch of lackeys. Alright, what's a thief bow? No, it's just a bow favored by thieves. So yeah, this map is really fucking cool. Because we've only got two people. We've got Holan, Nyman's chief daughter. Was betrothed to Kilton to secure her clan's filthy. Now she's not. And we've got Irvin. A bagatour from the Nyman League. Holin's elder cousin. What are his skills? Okay. So, like, if he was going up against someone with, like, a, a giant spear that counters horses or something, then he's good at recognizing that ahead of time and fighting against it. So it doesn't actually do extra damage against them. And then, when he gets hurt, he gets mad and he fights harder. I think Irvin's cool as shit. You all already know that I think Holin's cool as shit. And this is Holin's big map. Like, up until this point, you know, you've got... You've got Zayd as, like, the main guy. Um, and then the other one that kind of comes in is Kilton. Kilton ends up being kind of like a main character. Uh, this is the map that shows you that Holin is also much more than just... Uh, a side character like she is her own uh, I don't want to say Lord because that Lord is like the generic term for a protag in these types of games uh, she's not actually a Lord um, but she will be and yeah I'm just I'm hyped I, I just think this map is so cool you've got two people Irvin and Holin working together and you've got to unite all the clans together and then go fight Nyman, or Gonsuk, uh, the leader of the Nymans, current league master of the Nyman clans. Yeah, so we're all Nymans. This is the Nyman League. Uh, yeah. It's a really cool map. Um, now, for the time being, we're not going to do this until next episode. Um, I just want to talk for a bit about, you know, how the story is going so far. Um, I guess I'll leave this open. Make myself bigger, though. I'll keep the music going, but I'll put myself over this. So, yeah, like, I hope you all are enjoying the story. Uh, again, it's one of my favorites. Um, look at my armpit hair. All right, sorry. Uh, it's one of my favorite stories, and, like, we're really getting to a point now where a lot of shit's going down. Um, I actually think that the a lot of the clan wars are one of the uh, lesser interesting parts of the game, but there are certain chunks of it 
that really shine, such as this map. I just think it's really rad whenever there's like a side quest that happens, like the characters ride off from the main story. And, oh, I forgot there's a third person here. Um, Aethel. Aethel is, is riding, if you didn't catch it from the, the cutscene, Aethel is riding on Holin's horse with her. She's on Holin's back. So, uh, it's really cool how it works, but like, I think if Irvin gets hurt, Holin can ride up and actually heal him. Um, because Aethel is there to heal. And then, basically every turn, uh, Holin gets healed by Aethel. Uh, it's a really, really unique map, the way it plays out. Oh, you all can't see what I'm looking at. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Aethel is on Holin's back, which is really fucking cool. But yeah, the stories come a long way. Um, I love that cutscene, too, where Holin's like, I'm riding off and I'm gonna secure my own destiny and all this shit, and Aethel catches her and is just like, I'm coming with you. Because, like, up until this point, we had a lot of cutscenes with them, kind of um, forming a, a bond, sort of. And it makes sense that Aethel would be the one to recognize, like, Holin's unhappy where she is, I'm gonna kind of keep my eye on her, and then immediately see this late at night and be like, you know what, I'm coming with. Because Aethel recognizes what, you know, um, Aethel's, I think Aethel is smart enough to, uh, to recognize how important this is to, to Holin, and, uh, especially as a, uh, uh, as one of the Lana Sanctum's Star Maidens, um, Aethel would know the importance of destiny. Not just to Holin, but in general. And, uh, and I think she recognizes, yeah, this is Holin's place. This is what Holin needs to do. Uh, it's just a really cool, it's a great turn of events for them, that they're right off on their own to go do this. Uh, and I think it'll also humble Kilton quite a bit when Holin comes back and she's like, okay, I just ended this, like, brutal reign of terror uh, in my homeland and I've come back with a million more allies, so bingo, let's work together. You know, that's gonna be rad, it's cool. Uh, yeah. Um, the story's pretty much only on an up and up from here. Uh, we've got a lot of interesting stuff coming. I'm hyped to show you all. Again, with Lydia. She's the one part of the game that I really just can't stand. I hate her character. Um, I, I am deeply, deeply sorry if the content, uh, if her content is, uh, like, I don't want to just say bothersome, but genuinely, like, hurtful to anyone out there that's watching, because it is. It's, it's genuinely that poorly written that it, I can see where a lot of people would take offense from it, um, and it's, yeah, it's just, it's something that's, I don't know, it's content that shouldn't be portrayed like that, and I really hate that it is in this game, because it kind of leaves a, a, a stain on this game, um, out of all the Saga games, this one is, this one is, um, probably my least favorite, and it's, a lot of that is because of that, Lydia just, ruins this game uh, she's not like a, a huge character in the grand scheme of things so it's not like we're gonna be thinking about it all the time but certainly every scene that she's in it's like oh here we are again you know I really just can't stand her um, but I think the rest of the story is worth playing um, despite that I hope you all agree if not I understand um, but anyway Next episode will be a lot of fun because it's going to be this huge map with Holin and Irvin and Aethel working together. And uh, if you've liked Holin up until this point, which I'm hoping you have, then this might be your favorite map in the game because it's cool as shit. Out of, again, like I said, out of all the map, out of all the maps that are dealing with the warring clans, this one's definitely my favorite. It's so unique, first off, like mechanically, gameplay wise, uh, there's no other maps like this in the game and like certainly in a series like fire emblem or something there's no maps like this at all um it's it's a very unique map which i love i love unique shit um yeah and then story wise it's just a lot of fun it's really it's a cool ass map all right but anyway uh that's enough talking for now 
Thanks for the background music, Mysterious Saga. Shout outs. Um, did I just dab accidentally? Did I just dab intentionally? Did I just dab twice intentionally? Yeah. All right. Sorry. All right, we're going to cut the episode off now. Be hyped for next time. It's Holland's Big Map. You all take care. That was a lot of reading today, but I had a lot of fun doing it. And I will see you all next time on Visteria Saga in Kevin's Sandy, Sandy Sandbox. Bing! I installed a, uh, one of those metallic, uh, laser things that make the, the funny noises on top of my